Hi guys, my name is Bree and I am here from Colorado Cork and Keg. I will be your bartender today as we will be making our Modelo Mole cocktail. All right, let's get started. There are a few ingredients that you will need for this class, so let's go ahead and go over those. You will need a Modelo Negra, coffee liqueur, which we are using Ricardo's based out of Colorado, creme de cacao, some cocoa powder, and some chili powder. You will also need a lime wedge, a plate, a shaker with some ice, of course a glass to put your cocktail in, a spoon, a measuring cup or a jigger, and a bottle opener to open your beer. All right. So let's go ahead and make this cocktail. This one is super simple. Uh, you're going to be building your cocktail in here, um, in your shaker with your ice. So we are going to start with our coffee liqueur, okay? So go ahead and get this open and we are going to add one ounce of coffee liqueur to your shaker. You can use Kahlua, um, but if you do have access to Ricardo's, I would highly recommend it. It was voted um, the best coffee liqueur a couple years ago, and it is super delicious. Okay. Then you are gonna add half an ounce of your creme de cacao. You're going to do one teaspoon of your cocoa powder. Now a bar spoon is about a teaspoon. You can use measuring spoons as well, or if you just wanna use a regular spoon, you're gonna do about three quarters. And this really depends on how much uh, chocolate you wanna to add to your cocktail. One teaspoon seems to be just about right. Um, it will be a little bit chocolatey, so if you want it less so, add a little less. If you want more, add more. But we are going to dump that right into our shaker. All right, then you're going to add about half a teaspoon of your chili powder. And again, this is really up to your preference, how spicy you want it to be. Half an ounce, or I'm sorry, half a teaspoon really doesn't add that much spice, just a little kick. So if you want more, go ahead and uh, add more. If you want none, you don't have to do this. You can skip the chili step. All right, we like a little bit of spice. So we're gonna add half a teaspoon and then we're going to go ahead and shake this. All right, and then go ahead and grab your glass. And before we pour this into our glass, we are going to rim our glass. So what you are going to want to do is grab your plate and your lime wedge as well as your cocoa powder and I have cut a little slit into my lime here and that's going to help me rim my glass. So you're going to take that little slit and just turn your glass so that you are getting the entire rim. And then we are going to take our cocoa powder and just pour a little bit onto our plate here. And then you're gonna take your glass, flip it upside down, and roll it in that cocoa powder. You can also use honey, agave, um, anything that's more sticky, that's gonna help really grab the cocoa powder. The lime juice does work, but not as well as Honey might. I just want a little bit of cocoa powder on my rim here, so this is going to be plenty. And once you are done, it should look something like that. All right, and so now we can pour our shaker into our glass. Okay. And now for the good part. We are going to grab our Modelo Negra. 
and we are going to pop that open. And you are gonna fill it just right to the top there. It might take a little bit of patience because it does foam up pretty easily. Um, once you start pouring it onto the cocktail, just pour it kind of slowly and on the side. You can kind of take your spoon to help facilitate that and mix your beer with the rest of your cocktail. I'm gonna pour a little bit more. And then take your spoon again and just really mix everything together well. All right, and then pro tip, if you want a little bit of extra chocolate or spice on top, you could take a little bit of your cocoa powder and just kind of pour a little on top of your cocktail and there you go, no straw needed for this one because when you drink, you do wanna taste some of that cocoa powder on the rim. So this is a really simple, easy, delicious uh, beer cocktail that is more geared towards colder weather, which we are moving into. Um, very interesting and different. So please give it a try. Let us know what you think. Take pictures, send it to us. We love seeing those. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoy this Modelo Malay cocktail. Cheers.